Hi, Apolline Merle, France TV. Um, how are you going to manage uh, this particular clay season with the season on classic clay? Uh, then we switched to grass before. Um, returning to clay for the Olympic Games, um, is preparation more complicated or are there just different choice to be made? Thank uh, you. Yeah, um, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how how all the players will handle this situation. It's quite unique to go f after grass again to to clay, um, but let's see. I think it's 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 important to to practice in a certain way. Uh, maybe the first week, you know, it's 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 very tough. Here usually are very. Um, strange results a couple of times and um, but you know it's it's um, it's gonna be interesting to see you know I'm the hard court swing for me was was really really good now we see what I can what I can do on clay um, last year I played well here but then after I didn't play well um, so let's see um, it's gonna be tough for sure right? because it's a surface where I um, struggle a little bit usually, but I'm I'm very excited to to come back and hopefully to do better. Yannick, hi. Um, how, what is your relation to this tournament? What does it mean for you? And uh, you said um, you're happy to come back. What 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 are your expectations with your status now? Yeah. Um, I, I really like this tournament because, uh, well, I live here, so I always come here to practice and seeing the site in a different way. It's it's very special. Um, the crowd is usually very very good. A lot of Italians, and um, so it's gonna be an amazing, an amazing tournament. I I love to play here. Um, the expectations are are not that high um, for this for this uh, beginning of clay. Um, but the goal is to be ready for uh, Roland Garros and then hopefully Olympics. This is my, you know, or I guess for uh, all all the players, the the goal, no, to to trying to be in top form there. Um, we will we will take this this week as as uh, as a practice week, playing with matches. Hopefully, um, hopefully more than one match. But you know, it's it's gonna be interesting to see. You know, it's. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. It's, as I said, a special tournament, and hopefully, I can perform in a in a good way. So, Yannick, you say you struggle a bit on on clay. Why? Because your game seems to be very good on clay too. So, why you say you struggle? No, I say struggle because it's not the 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 surface where I feel that comfortable in general. Because I feel more comfortable on on hard court, uh, which doesn't mean that I. That I'm not a good player on clay. Um, I I played my first Grand Slam quarterfinals on clay. It was in Roland Garros. Um, I made quarters in in, in Rome. Um, so let's see. Talking about last year was not my best season on clay. Um, hopefully I can change it this year. But you know I'm I'm confident that I can be uh, a good player also also on clay. Um, it takes time for sure because uh, I used to practice a lot on clay um, when I was 14 to 20. But then after most of the tournament, they they go to hard court tournaments, so you play a little bit less. But you know, it's it's. I'm very excited to be here. I think if you make the the clay with uh, a, a good friendship, it's 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 it, it can help. <laughs> yeah, Yannick, Simon Campbell here. Um, what? Is it about the Olympics that excites you so much? Is it the, the team format or the whole Olympic experience, or is it where do you put the Olympics in terms of something you want to win? It's uh, because it's only once every four years. You you don't know what's gonna happen from from this year until the next Olympics. So you know for sure it's in the top list. I mean it's. Um, the first experience for me to go to the to the Olympics. Um, so I'm very looking forward to to also talk with other players and 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 athletes, which I guess it's it's really really nice and um, and that's it. No, I, I I missed the Olympics the last time because I didn't feel well uh, to play there. 
now they are even more special and um, it's going to be a great experience. It's a question about young players. The young players at the moment who come through to break through to the tour seem to be very physically strong. Do, is it because they're doing more physical work in the gym these days? I mean, did you, when you were 15, 16, did you do weightlifting? Is there a difference the way things work now? I never have done a lot with weight, especially when I was young. Um, I started later or two years ago basically because I was still growing and if you grow with you know weight liftings it's it's very dangerous for for your body um, not in this moment but for the future body um, so I've always been very careful uh, me and my team um, I've always been a player who was growing but was not ready compared to the to my aged um, uh, players, uh, they were always uh, stronger than me. But I th take it this, uh, I take this as a, as a positive because you have to learn how to play tennis. Um, you have to have a great timing, trying to move. Um, so that's I think what, what helped me a lot for the player who I am right now. Um, and now we do a lot of gym. Um, sometimes even more gym than, than on court, so uh, in your mind you have to know this and, and, and ac also accept it in one way. Um, but yeah, I don't know what other players do, what is, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, can I ask you about Wimbledon? Um, the last nine months you've achieved many things. Your first Masters 1000 title, your first Grand Slam title, won the Davis Cup for Italy. How, how much of that run do you think started with what you did at Wimbledon when you got to the semi-finals there? It was a great result in uh, Wimbledon. was very unexpected because I never won so many matches on grass and going in there and you know trying trying to play my tennis, trying to find the right the right shots in the right time. They, this helped me a lot, and for me, making semi-finals in Wimbledon meant so much to me. Um, in any Grand Slam, if you reach semi-finals, it's it's an amazing result. So um, then, after I I won uh, the first Masters event in in, in Toronto, which for me was uh, the best achievement I've I've had until that moment, and. Um, I just took the confidence uh, from these results, trying to to back them up, you know, week by week. And um, there are gonna be moments where where I will struggle. This uh, this I know, but it's more important to um, to be happy and 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 also healthy. And being healthy gives you a chance every week, trying to trying to to make something big or something new and and. Yeah, that's what I've tried to do. Last two minutes. Hello. Hello, Yannick. Uh, you told us you, you are living in Monte Carlo. Maybe it's a good thing because uh, you are incredibly popular in Italy. Uh, could you live in Italy because uh, you are a star and you we know the, the Tifosi? <laughs> uh, uh, can you talk about the, this new statue? No, it's, um, it's a nice feeling, especially when I go to tournaments, having a great connection with the, with the crowd. Um, this is amazing. Um, I live here already since I'm 18 and I'm, I live very good here. You have very good privacy. Um, you feel safe around Monaco and the most importantly the, the setup um, throughout the year is good because you have many gyms here on site. You have clay court and hard court. Um, so many players to practice with so it's, 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 it's amazing uh, to live here. Um, I'm here only three, four months because the rest we we travel a lot, we, we, we play tournaments, but when I come back I always feel good here, so um, yeah, I feel comfortable. What you achieved in, in Melbourne mentally in the finals was quite impressive and Ricardo Piatti, your former coach, <coughs> says that it's what struck him the most when you were a teenager was your mental strength. Do, do you reckon it's your main strength, the man, mental strength? I had to, and I still have to, to work on it. This yes, um, 
the mental side is the only thing you can control throughout throughout the match or throughout your your general life of court um but you also have to understand w what's happening um it's 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 easy to say but then when you are in a very tough situation it's 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 not easy sometimes and um i try to to control my my mind and my head in a in a way which which is helping me on court um so this for sure helped me um playing point by point taking day by day uh there is pressure but um it's 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 a good kind of pressure and i'm very happy to be in this position and and living also uh, uh a normal life i mean when i when i go off court and when i go out of the gym and i go home i'm a normal person and that for me is the most important so um trying to there is the work and and also the passion which uh, which I chose to do but then it's also the the normal life and it's yeah we are all normal normal people <laughs> yeah.